Trevor Noah, Jimmy Kimmel tweet Trump for Rose Garland setting for Paris Agreement announcement Trevor Noah and Jimmy Kimmel both criticized Donald Trump for his decision to withdraw the U.S. from the Paris Climate Agreement. I don't know what that's worse, the fact that Donald Trump may have doomed the planet or the fact that he announced it like it as an episode of The Bachelorette, said Trevor Noah. He impersonated Trump saying, Earth, we had a great time in the hot tub, but I've got to give a rose to Cole. We all joke about him destroying the world, but this could be it, Noah said. And can I just say, telling nature to go off itself while standing in a garden is a pretty gangster move, I am not going to lie. The Daily Show host posited that the only way Trump's announcement could have been more messed up is if he had a polar bear in the background, but he joked that Eric Trump would have shot the polar bear. Noah continued to speak more seriously about Trump's decision, saying that try as he might, he can't bring back cold jobs. It may have been big back in the day, but it is not going to work now, he said. It is like bait watch you can't save it. Jimmy Kimmel also reflected on Trump's choice of location for his speech on the Paris Accord. It made sense that he did it from the Rose Garden, while we still have roses and gardens, said Kimmel. He teased Trump for delivering a message of hope, as in, I hope this terrible prank America decided to play on itself is over soon. Kimmel showed a clip of Trump giving his speech about the Paris Accord, and had a man in a devil costume stand behind him. He does have some support, Kimmel joked, adding that he hopes when the ice caps melt, the water ruins every rugged Mar-a-Lago. By the way, it isn't he just environmentalists who want us to remain a part of the Paris Accord. Exxon Mobil lobbied for us to stay in it. Shell wanted us in it. While Marred supported it, Kimmel continued. Because apparently these big companies ran the numbers, and it turned